We're really happy to be with you here today. We're going to talk about David Hoffmeister's new book, which has been our own inspiration for more than two years now. It's become like a practical pathway to peace of mind. Um, yeah, we were sharing that um, really this is a culmination of over 30 years of practical application um, of the cor of a course in miracles, and in relationship, in communication. Uh, taking all the principles of A Course in Miracles and um, actually exploring the parables of mostly David Hoffmeister's life, uh, where he simply shares uh, aspects of his life or moments in his life when there were transformative opportunities where his willingness to join with the Holy Spirit um, in moving through blocks to uh, experiencing uh, the love um, that that was you know deep that's deep in our hearts and all of our hearts and um, so it's very inspiring highly practical I had a question earlier uh, from one of the uh, participants in, in, in one in the practicing the exercises in this book one who's studying the book and he's like said that um, how much is practical application, uh, how much of the book is practical application. And right off the bat, 20% of the book is practical application, and yet the whole book is infused with practical application because you're with David uh, going through the parables mm. of his life. Just very present moment um, application um, with... and. Another great question was, who is this for? Who is this book for? And uh, it's like, well, literally it's for everybody who uh, is, you know, willing to look at their mind because the whole book is, explains the map of the mind and uses that diagram, which came directly from Jesus to David in a picture form. And the map of the mind is used as a framework for the whole book um, and t how do you go from you know there's 18 chapters how do you go from all these concepts like fear judgment knowledge guilt um, special relationship how do you take these themes and go right down into the present moment and this is this book addresses that on a very practical uh, level and it 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 does involve a whole lot of willingness I think when when there's reading the book. I think you realize where some willingness um, is needed. Um, and I think that was one of the profound experiences for me is there's a certain level of disillusionment in reading the book many, many times over as we're going through the editing process that, um, okay, where is my willingness lacking? And then there's an opportunity to work with the Holy Spirit in that and practice. So it, it's been, I think, a speed up. Yeah, it's, it's been like, <laughs> yeah, because uh, like definitely. you said, David has gone through all this and so his first hand experience practical tools and then we had to go through them. We had to go through those um, tools and practical, you know, teachings to be able to put this book together. Uh, and it's not just, we, we didn't really do it to put a book together. We did it for our own healing. And it's been huge. Um, and I feel the theme of collaboration came to my mind because um, the collaboration is, is so deep. It's so, and it started with David's uh, pure um, desire for God. And all of this came out of it. And we tune into it. And so uh, the Spirit guided us to put together this. A practical book and um, yeah so I would say that we we contemplated the teachings to be able to 
put it into this book. We lived it to be able to put it into this book. And so it turned out that it needed to be metaphysical in the beginning. So we have a very um, comprehensive chapter in the beginning that is all about the metaphysics. Why do we experience separation? Why do we find ourselves in a world where we are unhappy? Why do we find ourselves um, in depression, in relationships that don't work? Or, you know, the darkness. And so the why, the why is addressed. And it's very, um, yeah, it's very simple, simple, you know, simply described, I would say. It's easy to understand. If you find The Course in Miracles too uh, difficult, too big book, it's a very big book, and um, then This Moment is Your Miracle will actually be very, very uh, easy way to take it in and digest these teachings. And, and yeah, the importance of the metaphysics is in the beginning, because like David always says, and we we have it in the book, that the spiritual path is about one percent principle and 99 percent practice but the principle has to be true and that's why we love this because it is true and it is a fast track and we have tried it out for ourselves and uh, it's not true in a form sense like it's not like a method or a um an, another spiritual thing it's actually pointing to the truth in every in every way which you know leads to forgiveness and that's so the whole book goes through the the, the metaphysics into practical application more and more and more and um, it explains how we built up fear and guilt and all those things in the beginning as a defense and then it goes through relationships and how we can work with our minds until in the end it goes to, to um, the final forgiveness. The last chapter in the book is, is about forgiveness, which is what we need to fully embrace in every moment. If we embrace forgiveness in every moment, that's how we come to peace of mind. Um, and the book explains the how. So that is a short version of mm -hmm. what this book does, I would say. Um, it's a book that is not interested in making your life better in terms of a career, um, in terms of, you know, uh, necessarily improving your relationships, but your relationship will improve by the way of the way you look at your relationship, by the way you look at your own judgments. Um, and it's non-compromising in terms of what is necessary, uh, what is necessary to uh, be free from the conflicts in your mind um, to escape from fear. Um, the subtitle is, um, yeah, Spiritual Tools to Transcend Fear and Experience the Power of the Present Moment. Mm. Yeah, very, very, very practical. Very practical. Mm. Because we all want to transcend the fear, right? I mean, that's mm. every moment. if. If we're in touch with fear, uh, because fear is underneath every kind of disease, every kind of um, not feeling comfortable and, and relaxed and happy or, you know, feeling confused or feeling in the wrong place, it's fear behind it. So uh, we do need to get in touch with the fear and we do want to transcend the fear so that we can experience the power of the present moment. Fear is the only block, really, to the power of the present moment the power of your mind. So it's uh, it's hugely practical. Mm -hmm. So if you want to get this book and, you know, read a little bit every morning, um, I will assure you that you're going to have, a, you know, lots of improvements in your day-to-day -day life, in your relationships and in your work, or wherever you find yourself. You will find this um, these tools to, to, to find true peace and lasting peace, and I, I love that, how, because that's how it was um, for myself, that I needed to, um, to find 
the true peace and and actually I tried a lot of spiritual practices uh, self improvement lots of different things and um and it felt like self improvement it didn't I didn't realize until I met David Hofmeister that um I can do something that transcends the whole thing I can do something that transcends the doubt in my mind completely I don't have to improve Jenny I I only have to um see what's false in my mind see the blocks to love to come to my true identity and um and that's what that's the core of this this book and this teaching